So we're walking a bit downhill here, then up again to the other side of this, uh, this valley. And it's actually pretty warm in the sun. It's the 8th of November and just look at this nature. And I realized that in my country, people are coop cooped up in their homes. It's kind of cloudy, nothing to do, everything closed except the stores. People that can't go anywhere, cannot go abroad. 80 million people right now who cannot go to the mountains, although they really would like to, probably. You can ask every single one of them when they go for a hike in an environment like this on a Sunday afternoon. They'll say, yes, please, I'll give you give you a hundred bucks if you can let me stroll around an area like this this year because I'm fed up and here we are in Sofia essentially next to the city where two million people live and nobody's here like do you guys realize what you have do you realize that you have this next to your door and why don't you go on a massive skill wander around you just have to look it is all around like go and explore it look at it the fresh air the forest you have it now you can go there now it's still warm gonna be snowy soon enough but again i'm on my own here which is the incredible fact about Bulgaria. It is so sorely underestimated even by its own people that it's, li it's like it's like you suffer hunger while you sleep under a tree full of apples. Like it doesn't make sense to me. Uh, that's the direction of the stupa. It doesn't make sense to me that people are not hiking here by the thousands. They're just not. Like on Vitesse Mountain, sure. But it's not even thousands, probably. A lot of people are home, chilling out, and just not seeing these things. I don't know, it's just weird to me. I think it's just because when something's closed, when something's in hands reached, you do not appreciate it. And the sun's peeking through. Oh, look at this. I'm so blessed. So here's the stupa, the Buddhist stupa, I believe. Never been here. Just look at the view, Vitesse Mountain. What a place. And if you look around, you can see these hills, which are probably like unexplored. That over there is the Rilla Mountains. Can you imagine we just live here in the middle of this of these places? It's sort of a Buddhist icon. Oh, mantra is mind defense. Mantra means mind defense in Sanskrit. I didn't know that. But this is the stumpa. Kind of nice. Just as a promotion of peace, I suppose. A sacred place for Bulgaria. Probably the only stumpa in the whole country. But it doesn't look out of place. What a beautiful, beautiful spot to put this. 
And here we can read more about the stupa. Essentially a stupa is uh, directing the minds to the timeless, indestructible qualities of enlightenment. Fearlessness, joy and active compassion. All over the world they bring prosperity and protect people from calamities and conflicts. Not sure how that would work, but I agree with the first part, being pointed to the enlightenment of the human mind is what I am all about. Look at this place. It is just brilliant. The weather, this is one of the most beautiful days of the year. And it's just like the middle of November. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? <laughs> Taking some pics. It's just weird how blessed we are here. It's it's God's land. I mean, it has to be. Like everybody always knew about Bulgaria, the Thracian Valley, the mountains, and whatever else. But somehow nowadays, it seems it's been faded into oblivion. And like I'm the only one standing here enjoying this whereas there should be people doing the same I don't know it seems like it, it, it's right here but it's forgotten it's not appreciated in the same sense anymore don't forget what you have here truly Look at this, the Rila Mountains over there. It's more beautiful in real life. I know it's just, you're looking through this through a phone screen and it's ha not half as impressive as what I see, but I have the warm sun on my face. See these colors, see the smoke from the chimney, the, uh, the mist there in the valley of Saparava Banya. The forests, as far as the eye can see, the mountains, just these yellow orange colors. A little breeze that's warm in November, like you'd have to see it to believe it. This year I haven't explored a ton of Bulgaria. It kind of faded from my imagination because I went abroad a lot. I focused on seeing my family, trying to get to the Netherlands a few times, a few times I failed doing that because of this year was kind of a mess, travel wise. Did manage to go to France, Germany, Italy twice, Poland, Switzerland twice. It's kind of incredible. But it's just a few trips in Bulgaria. And now that I go again in autumn, I just regained my senses for this. And sometimes, like when I walk through Warsaw, through Poland, I see that things look better, more developed, wealthier, just European, if I may say so, and I come back to Sofia and sometimes it's kind of drab, even though my life is awesome, but the pavements are not there yet, it kind of crumbles apart in a few places, but then if I go again for a hike like this, like into the country, I regain my sense for this place. Like you cannot go around in Poland like this right now, but here it's like I wouldn't say Africa, but it's it's warm. I'm in my t-shirt. I'm literally in my shirt. <laughs> 